Hello everyone! This is going to be my episode review, the latest episode of Beyblade Burst. If you're wondering how I watch it, go to the Koro Koro YouTube channel. C-O-R-O, C-O-R-O, or go to Beyblade.jp. That's where the videos always are. And I use Proton VPN or Tunnel Mare, one or the other. It works, I'm able to watch the episodes. Please do not link any pirated sites, any illegal sites to watch it, please. No. Nothing, nothing really that's like big to ask, you know. Support the official release. And yeah, there's a lot to go. Well, not, not too much, not too much actually. Uh, the end of the episode, I was really, uh, I'm not talking about the preview or anything like that. I'm talking about just like, you know they usually show a product at the end, they show some teaser. They, they showed the original GT customized set, like the first one. I, I, I guess they show that because of the whole, because during the time of this recording, you know, holidays are coming up, so I guess they're, I, I'm pretty sure they're doing like all these sales and whatever now. Uh, I don't know, really weird. You know, it, it, in my own opinion, it is a little bit kind of like dumb for marketing, because when you want to show Master Diabolos with a new Spriggan or a teaser of that, because now we gotta wait another week just to see how it works. Which, I don't know. Bailey Burst is kinda, not, the episodes are recently, I've just been really whacking how they've been trying to key stuff, but. Drum is a famous lad, because he kicked Arthur's butt in the previous episode. Uh, if he didn't already know. It was a really cool battle. He was a little nervous, then after he shows off his Bay Imperial to the reporters. And Fumia's little moment, basically his, uh, his followers, like, hey man, I'm kind of sorry for what happened. And then after Fumia says, this part didn't even pay attention too much to because it was just like, kind of, you know, it's a little nice moment for Fumia, I guess. Because it's like, I guess I want to train with you two. You two will be people I want to battle with or something like that. Uh, Ichika's watching. She just wants to make sure her brother is not like, because Fumia did, has changed. Like, he actually has changed and developed before. He's extremely cocky and arrogant. And then after. You know, he got humiliated quite a bit, and he was able to learn to be a little bit kinder and more respectful to other bladers. So basically, uh, Drum is challenged by Gwyn, I guess for a sparring. Uh, obviously, you always got to have the pep talk where he's like, Drum, we got to defeat Gwyn. He has the Mugen lock system, which is infinite lock, but Mugen is in Japanese. So the battle starts. Before that, actually, no, I definitely say no way. Before that, it's a flashback about Superior Turbo, I believe. I don't, because I know people got confused on the name. Is this how they say it in Japanese? Obviously, there are some English words that you're able to hear right away, like for long, for like by long, it's like Zvi, Hema, like stuff like that, you know. So with the uh, with Regalia Genesis, the, the technique that Gwen uses is Superior Turbo. I, I, I guess the, the whole idea of Superior Turbo is just sort of like, so there's Gold Turbo, Dark Turbo. So Superior Turbo is like, I guess it's Gwyn's own form of his resonance with the Bay, because Gwyn sees all these equations or whatever. And Superior in a way is kind of connected to like the term of intellect, right? So I, I guess that kind of, kind of makes sense. It basically it flows with like purple and like blue sparkles, whatever. So the battle starts and Ichika is a judge for the match. Uh, and then after it's ready, set to three. Two, one, go, shoot! And then after, Drum gets ready and he activates his ignition. And then after, Gwyn, like, bro, no, I can do that too. Do you know who you're dealing with? He activates his hybrid and his hybrid versus ignition. Both are clashing. Now, Drum is able to do a barrage attack, which turns around the Lair of Regalia Genesis to the point where the eyes meet in the center and the infinite lock gimmick activates. Well, actually, no, it's, it's always been activated, but you know what I mean. Like, the point before you can actually burst it, right? When the eyes are in the center, that's when that's when you gotta hit that little tap thing, you can burst it. But Gwyn sees this, and Drum is trying to go for that one hit, but Gwyn is actually very... I wanna say, it reminds me of Subasa versus Ryuga. It's, it's a heavy attack about to hit uh, Genesis, and it dodges it like very smoothly and Genesis is spinning like crazy and Dragon's going after Genesis and he's seeing Drum and this is when Gwyn's character is starting to change just a little bit 
In the manga, I did a video of it. If you want to see that, I'll leave a link in the description for it. If not, just see my channel. But if I don't remember to put a link in the description. Basically, Green's character starts to slowly change. He becomes sort of, in a way, isolated from everybody. Like, Drum is, I would say, like, his friend, at least. And he begins to only kind of, like, think for himself, in a way. So he, he becomes more selfish, basically, right? So, Ween activates Regalia Genesis, and we get to see what the avatar looks like. And if you were thinking it's a dragon, it's a dragon. I, you know, for the name Regalia Genesis, why it gotta be a dragon? Like, why is everything in GT a dragon, for the love of God? I don't get that. Like... It's so weird, because in the previous seasons, most of actually, well, in general, Bailey Birth is kind of weird, because most of the avatars are weird dragon creatures. Like, I don't mean to keep on appearing, just because I can think about, like, bro, like in Metal Fight, not every single avatar is a dragon. They're actually, like, based on the lore that they're about. It's so weird. But, Regalia opens, and look at that, it is Reshiram. If you get that reference, you are a real one. Now we have Apocalypse, which is Ekron, we have Reshiram, which is uh, Genesis, and now we could probably either have, we can, we can have like Kyram, right? Because then after like, if, if if Genesis is the final boss, and Genesis maybe takes from Apocalypse, kind of like the Phoenix of the Hades, then then after then after we could have like the, me the Mega Dragon. I don't know, I'm just rambling at this point. Basically, Superior Turbo, be surprised he activated right away, because uh, Ween. I guess is very, very powerful. I guess I don't know. Is it like a pro prodigy? I guess for like Babe like a Babe. I don't think that stuff done so easy. Uh, it's, it is kind of lame though. They, they, they reuse the really good bank and bank animation. I guess basically it's like when he does like the bounce thing or whatever he whatever he does. So basically they reuse that animation from the previous episode. Like the cool thing that he basically used to defeat Apocalypse. Really weird too is that the, uh, when Regalia is about to counterattack, uh, the little tab thing lines up, so that's a little bit weird. And he basically does a thing, he swishes his finger to the side and he basically flicks away Dragon. I don't know, it doesn't really work like that, you know, in real life. Like, you you know what actually would have been cool in the, in the anime showed it, like, if Regalia and Apocalypse had like a little spring on the tab for the thing, I think that would have been really cool. But, uh, you know, I just, <laughs> I just realized how much of a meme shot I took this screen with uh, for the episode. You know, he, he gets defeated and uh, he flashes, he, he does a very creepy smile and he says, now let's try to do round two. And that's kind of like, he literally just fades to black. So, I li I, this is the one part of the episode I actually do like a lot and it's something I did predict in the previous episode. So, Volt is practicing. Uh, what I do gotta say is a little bit weird is that uh, they didn't do proper uh, correction on these shots. Uh, the brightness on the stuff looks really weird. Uh, in some animes, that's usually a problem. Some shots have to get corrected on like the light for the thing. Minor complaint on the thing. But uh, he's training with Valkyrie. Valkyrie bounces off a wall. We, we get to see Slash Valkyrie after such a long time. And I really like when this moment with Volt and Delta, because Delta's so like sad and everything because Bay was destroyed. And he offers some bay bread! And he says, no, just take this. And what really... And I, I I like this moment. And he tells Delta, Delta, come on. Let's have a battle. And he gets really, like, happy. The next episode, Wien is going off the rocker. He is 100% going to be evil. His eye does the weird thing now. His eyes are glowing. Like, bro, remember, that was like with Bye, man. It is so weird how, like, the Apocalypse Bay was defeated and Genesis is what's actually, like, his next target. So, the reason why Drum's very worried is because the whole summary for this episode is that Dragon is supposed to break. Now, in the manga, if, well, if, if you... What I'll do now is that for this part of the review, until I move on to the next image, I'll, I'll talk about the spo spoilery part. Which, to be fair, in an episode review, it's already spoilers, right? Because it's an episode review, but... when I, If you were watching the video, just skip to the part where I go to the next screenshot. But basically, give a second. 
Dragon loses to, to Genesis with a survivor finish, and Genesis is about to break with Dragon. But Delta, uh, Delta, well, he, has, he did survive, but Master Diabolos uh, actually saves Drum. And Delta makes sure Drum's Bay cannot break to Genesis, because Genesis actually broke Astra in the manga and broke a lot of other bays. So, so that's it, you know, for that part there. Uh, he's doing really crazy attacks. He does not want to uh, lose to uh, Gween. And there's this one shot that was sick where Gween is like, what? I honestly like Gween so much. I feel like Gween is like more unique than Arthur. I don't know. Now this, I gotta say, you know, this kind of hurts my eyes a bit just to look at. I don't know if that's the same for others, but you know, like this Doctor Strange thing, right? It's got like the, this like big, big, look. I don't think we really had to see like the same graphic overlaid 50 times, right? You know, you probably just just done the, the one graphic in the back really big. Mental God, it's crazy. Yeah, but the thing is, I don't know if Dragon actually is gonna break, but Dragon is. It, the whole thing is that Dragon will probably break. And for people who are saying, oh, but Dragon can't break because that means if Dragon breaks, it's gonna evolve again. No, that's not how it works. Look, Vice Leopard broke in Chozy. It was repaired later on. It did not evolve. Chozy Spriggan broke. And it was repaired later on. It did not evolve in Cho Z. So bays can break, but they just get repaired, you know. So if drums bay were to actually break, it would probably get repaired. Now because Delta is going to probably have his battle with Vault, that's why we have Master Grand Smash. Something like that. Grand uh, yeah, I just wanted to show this. Uh, obviously, that is a lottery bay, because if it looks really good, it's 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 a lottery bay. So, you know, the Imperial looks nice. Actually, funny enough, with my complaint on the episode and everything, I literally just checked uh, my subscription and, you know, they, they also published a video on the new random booster. So, yeah, uh, just, uh, I guess I'll talk about that. So, this is Seal Fortress, double O wall charge, looks nice. Uh, erase Bahamut, cool color scheme, one dash, star, zeta dash with the show weight. Uh, then after Heaven, Joker, Gravity Operate, and I gotta say this because I already made this in like community tab post. We've literally got a Poison Dragon that looks like Frieza. Like it literally looks like Frieza with that color scheme. Uh, 11 Volcanic Dash. We then have to have Naked Longiness. Naked is the official name and I hate it. Uh, zero uh, Turn Rise Sen. Dread Fafnir Paradox uh, Revolve Metsu. Uh, Dragoon Victory, Sting Evolution. Then after Naked Spriggan, Paradox, Orbit Metal, 10. So they give a better shot of the Dragoon. Uh, they, uh, this, this shot's the Dragoon, whoops. This shot's the Dragoon, this shot's the New Drasil. So Paradox Spriggan, uh, very, very wacky bait. I actually have to double check this to make sure because I, I hope the guy don't just upload another video on top of that when they do the Diabolos thing. Usually what they do is they upload one video or two videos right after the episode, but sometimes we do a little bit of a weird break thing, and then after, I miss out on them actually doing that thing. But the only other video they did on the Tech or Tommy thing was just doing some combos or whatever. So, Paradox, uh, Paradox is a new disc for Spriggan. It is really wacky. Like, I saw that disc, and I'm trying to process how that disc basically looks. So, similar to Hell Kerbex with its boost disc, so this is actually uh, right next to... Uh, Poison Dragon. So the idea with this is just that it basically has like a big wall of defense, right? That's the whole idea. So part by part looks nice. And look at that disc, bruh. It, it's in the shape of the boost disc, definitely from MFB or a very similar shape. So all the metal parts on the outside, which is really weird. And I am kind of confused. I don't know how heavy that disc is supposed to be. Like, I'm like, it's like is it gonna be light? Is it not gonna be light? How's it gonna work? I know, like, what I mean by how's, I mean, how's the weight going to work for the thing? I obviously know how it works. You just, like, pop it out, pop it in. So, it has two different modes, but before we do that, this is what the Spriggan chip looks like. This is what the new naked layer base looks like. Uh, it looks awesome. We kind of see a little bit of the slopes of the thing. I think it's going to be good. So, we see Paradox, and we see it actually lined up on it. So, I think this is going to really be good for a good burst resistance and defense. 
obviously, the defense side bay. So it's actually compared right next to Dread uh, Fafnir with also the Paradox disc. So we're going to get another Paradox disc that is, I guess, black. Now, I don't know if this was confirmed, so mind you what I'm saying. However, I'm pretty sure you can't use the other mode unless you're using uh, the Naked Lair base. I'm only saying that because visually it's a little hard to see if it can actually work on other discs or if this is like made compatible. Like similar to like the Boost disc, like how Boost was only really made, like you would only have it in one mode, but with how you could have it in the, the other mode. But uh, they showed off, showed off again. And this is what the other mode looks like for the thing. And it's really weird, so if I want to be honest, I don't really know if the, this one, the, the mode they're showing right now, is going to really be that good. The other mode, the one where it's downwards, it seems like it's actually going to be maybe... I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be more easy to... Actually, it's probably more easy to scrape, I would say. It's probably, probably a little, very similar to wall or any big bulky frames. So this is going to scrape a lot. But the two modes for the thing, since they actually show it, Okay, so if you're wondering on the two modes, okay, so the one where it's downwards translates to stamina mode, the other mode where it's basically upwards is defense mode. Yeah, and they do it up against uh, Zvi. It wins, but Zvi doesn't really get any hits in. So, you know, it's kind of like, you know, survivor finish, I guess, but yeah. So, with this Bregan thing, I think the only real downside is just orbit metal. Orbit metal, it's not, that special, like, for here, like the regular orbit's better. I don't know. I, I don't, I don't really, I'm not, I'm not a fan of orbit metal. You're better off using Xen Plus, which if you don't have it, you can get it for Union, or if you got the original launch certificate chip, other thing to put it on the regular Xen, or, uh, you know, Atomic, stuff like that. But that's gonna be it for now, you know, I just wanted to talk about that, but uh, you know, tell me your thoughts on the, the Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. What came out of, like last second, I was about to about to finish. I'm like, wait, they uploaded a video? Wait. But uh, yeah, I have other videos breaking this stuff down. I think it's gonna be it for videos. Even if they do uh, one on the Diabolos thing, I'll probably only do it with the episode. That's gonna be it for now. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day.